Now, more advocacy is needed to address institutional reforms and respect for human rights in Nigeria. This was stressed at a national dialogue with stakeholders, including lawyers and community members. Kemi Fola Adeyemo reports. One year after the NSAS protests that swept through several parts of the country, including Nigeria's commercial capital, conversations on ensuring respect for human rights, including rights to life, and peaceful assembly still linger. This time, the Nigerian Bar Association, Lagos Branch, draws speakers to address the need to develop a workable framework for building respectable relationships among the Nigerian community, the Bar, and the Nigeria Police. The lead speaker says the institution that needs the deepest reforms is the institution of the mind. But we are all culpable. How many of us in this room have not recently chosen to criminalize a civil offense, a civil dispute, in order to get justice? How many people have not reported a simple debt to the police and asked them to pick up the person who has paid, not paid? How many people have not gone to EFCC supported petitions written on behalf of clients? We assault each other's human rights because we have that mental. Who we'll come to the police? But we have to look inward. Important that we all know that we've not made so much progress as a country from the events that happened about a year ago. Sadly, um, the lives that were lost, we don't know how much. Um, um, progress we've made to respect their debt. Among the key focal points at the dialogue are the importance of mental health and freedom of expression in a democracy. The ability to express yourself, the ability to tell people that you're feeling hot will remove aggressiveness, will remove uh, the anxiety to want to be destructive. The police have refused to change because as that between last week uh, last month and this month, we've gotten cases of at least 45 cases that were reported to me personally and another colleague. 45 cases. And if you are talking about just that, what about the whole of Lagos State? What about the whole of Nigeria? And just this week, uh, uh, someone was said to have been killed by the police. And there are reports, credible reports, that about 10 persons have been killed between last year and this year by the police. The ones reported. The participants add that distrust of the police force and other security agencies will linger if the various abuses by its officers aren't addressed head-on. Kemi Foladiemo, TVC News, Lagos.